Hello everyone, welcome to Shaw Learning. If you are a science teacher, you have landed at the perfect spot. If you love unfolding science to kids, here is where you will get familiar with a few awesome techniques. Here is an interesting way to introduce the topic force and related concepts in your class. Ready to force your student to think? When learning happens through do-it-yourself activities, fun games, experiments and experiences, it becomes permanent and more effective. This strategy helps to present a difficult concept in a simple manner, which even a student who are not fond of science will enjoy and find easy to master. I am a science teacher and I always try to make my lessons more interesting through real life examples. So, to introduce force, we will use a scene from a movie based on superheroes and a game in class. Wondering what and how? We will implement 5 simple steps. Step 1. Start with the difference between pull and push. Arrange a short and quick game of tug of war to explain and experience push and pull. You can also tell students to make posters on push and pull effects that they observe in their surroundings. You can play the name 3 game where students have to name 3 games using push and pull or 3 natural phenomena where we see push and pull effects. Step 2 Illustrate experience and realize the role of force. We will try to take the scenes from easily available and popular movies so that students can relate to the same easily. We can use scenes from movies such as Spider-Man, Avenger, Superman, etc. Where superheroes are changing the direction of huge objects by applying force. Using the scenes of comic book stories or cartoons such as Chota Bheem, Doraemon or Motu Patlu will be the best trick as students love comic and cartoons. Step 3. Explain the force using Newton's second law of motion. We can use Newton's second law of motion as it is the most effective and important law to explain the force in terms of acceleration, velocity, and momentum. Newton's first law and third law can also be used, but the second law will be the most suitable law for the initial stage. Step 4. Introduce the most common force that we all experience, the force of gravity. We can make animations of falling objects, show the posters of fruit falling from the tree, astronaut floating in the space aircraft, etc. to show this. We can also narrate the story of Newton sitting under the apple tree. Step 5. Show friction and its effects. Make a ramp with the help of books and put a car on the top of it. Record the time taken by the car to come down. Make another ramp with the help of sandpaper and put a car on the top of it. Record the time taken by the car to come down. Compare the time in both cases and discuss the reason why. I feel this may change the perception of science from a difficult subject to an interesting subject for many students. Keep watching and subscribe to Your Learning to watch many more such topics and techniques. Happy teaching!